video contains sarcasm, dry humor, irony, and innuendos. Viewer discretion for the easily offended is advised. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully, you guys are making a lot of money. You made it, well, you made it halfway through the week, so congratulations on that. Uh, obviously, it's the beginning of my week, technically my Tuesday. Well, it's a Monday, so... Yeah, don't be self-employed. The, the, the whole calendar goes out the window. I'm joking. Be self-employed. Be your own boss. Love it. Enjoy it. Um, every day is just a day that ends with why. And speaking of why, uh, why is earned by time locked at lunch? Because we're going to be in for a potentially difficult day. That's why. Uh, in all seriousness, though, hopefully you guys are killing it. Having a great week. Yeah, I just said it. Um, yeah. I don't really have much to talk about right now. So we're just going to jump into the video, make some money. And at some point, I'm sure something was, is going to happen. It usually does on days like this where I don't have anything to talk about. Something says, hey, talk about me. So let's get into the day. Maybe. Oh. $6 total will be higher, 1.2 mile Burgerville. I mean, why not? Drive Don't west. you dare tell me where to go. If I want a condescending voice telling me where to go, I can call an ex-girlfriend. Oh, Burgerville. And it's misting. Wait. Over into Kevlar. <laughs> what a name. Imagine naming your kid Kevlar. I've got Kevlar. Kevlar. Yeah, you do. All right. That's Suzanne with Kevlar. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. This hurts me. What's that? It needs to be taken care of. So you can go ahead and try some no tip and then the green circle to come in. All right, so we got two, uh, one bacon cheeseburger, the how much are in there? Um, uh, there's two in there, and then the one with cheese, had them put in a separate one. Uh, and then we got the same, six, one six meals and one with the cake. Thank you. Thank you. Is that all right? Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, you gave me the straws. I did, I can't have that happen to you. Yep, you gave me the straws. I promise. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Oh, I need some Kevlar from this rain. Have a good one. You Must have been hungry. Six up to six fifty, four fifty tip. All right, we're 
gonna knock this uh, Albertsons out real quick. Seventeen dollar eighteen item. Eight of those are zucchini, squash, and potatoes. So it really shouldn't take us long. And then it's going like straight down the street. A lot. Yeah, probably half of its produce. Yep. Half of it at one end of the store. The other half at the other end of the store. And yeah, one thing in the middle. One, two. Four squash. Getting attacked by produce over here. Stay. Try to get similar size. Oh, we need two things, two pounds of carrots. Now I find a scale and weigh everything. Got everything weighed, got the Parmigiano, chicken broth, 30, nope, almost got me. One of those. Now, never mind. I'm not gonna ask questions. Wants tomato sauce, pasta, and we're done. One of those. Gluten-free penne and farfalle. For folly. Gluten-free. Why can I? No, come on. Penny. Oh. Yeah, because that just makes sense. We're done. Get the heck out of here. You working hard? No. Nah. Nah? I mean, no, well, no. I got the yeah. camera on. You have to say yes. I am working so hard. <laughs> of course, I'm, we are busy. She's always working hard. I like what I do. It's good easy. It's okay. It wasn't feeling it. That's 
That was me uh, the Friday. It's Monday. You don't have to give 100%. Where, where else are you going to give the rest of the week? Oh, I'm like this at home. Like this, like, person? Yeah. I keep it entertaining. Well, you have to. Life's too short to be boring. Well, and if I'm in my working customer service, I might have to come through it. Charlie. Hi. Charles, unless I'm in trouble. Rachel's if I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm sure I will see you again today. Can't say I've delivered here before. I like the wood bench though. You guys ever wonder what side has the double doors to put it on? Just look at the doorknob. Whatever one's got the keyhole, put it on the other side. There's your tip of the day. $7 base, $10 tip. Not bad, in like 30 minutes. Today is a slow day in the news, as far as DoorDash is concerned. Uh, they did partner with Lyft. It's happened. Not quite how I thought it would be but it could be the beginning of a, I would say beautiful relationship, but we are talking, talking about gig work here, so I don't know exactly how beautiful things are. DoorDash partners with Lyft to give, member, mer, give members ride-sharing benefits. Delivery service DoorDash said Wednesday that it's partnering with Lyft to bring ride-sharing ride benefits to members. The announcement came as DoorDash released better than expected results for its third quarter. San Francisco company said its revenue rose 25% in the July to September period to $2.7 billion. I should really just stop talking right here because that's just depressing. That is $900 million a month. That's $30 million a day. And we're delivering for $2 base pay. The people who run DoorDash, like, DoorDash is not a forever thing. I am not doing DoorDash forever. But the people that are operating and running DoorDash are morons. If all you can afford to pay a driver $2 and you're making not $30 million a day, the math ain't math in here. Anyway. That's not what we're talking about. That'll be for a whole different video. Um, DoorDash said its pass, Dash Pass members will get discounted rides through Lyft, while Lyft riders will get a free Dash Pass trial. It's actually a three-month trial. Um, combination makes DoorDash a more potent competitor to Uber, which offers free Uber Eats delivery and discounted Uber rides to its Uber One members, blah, 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 blah. Both... Lyft and DoorDash have been adding partners to their loyalty programs in order to entice customers. Lyft said 20% of its rides last year were connected to its partners, including Delta Airlines and Hilton. DoorDash recently partnered with Max, Warner Brothers, Discovery's Entertainment Streaming Service. DoorDash said its total orders rose 18% in the third quarter, that's the July through September, to $643 million. More than 640 million that analysts expected. You guys, let me know what you think. Is DoorDash and Lyft? Is DoorDash at some point going to start doing rideshare? Are they just going to merge? Are they going to do this whole partnership with Lyft? Because I see it happening. I think we talked about this a few months ago, where I, it's only a matter of time before. It was when Uber and Instacart decided to partner up. Um, I really think there's something more coming, and. I'll be curious to see what it is. I mean, I already do Uber, or I have Uber, I have Lyft. 
Are we going to be delivering people, though, at some point? It's a possibility. You guys let me know, though, what you think. Um, is this just another ploy for DoorDash to get more money from Lyft customers and vice versa? Probably. All right, we're at Napa, $6 for a mile. I know there's not a tip, but it's still $6 for a mile, so beats this order we declined. Going like, what, 16 miles? Four seven. Nine I'm sure Thank you. God, it's bright out here. We got a control arm and ball. An irony that's going to a place called Dick's. <laughs> you laugh too, you laugh too. This is the dumbest thing ever. Hello. Hello. All right. Maybe get a signature here in a second. It's got a mind of its own. It's DoorDash. Okay. Appreciate it. True. Have a good one. Six dollars. Ain't gonna holler. I think it's only fitting that we end our day, or at least the video, where we started at Burgerville. We did start here, right? Oh well. Uh, we turned down a seven dollar, seven point seven mile golden tusk going almost, just going way south. So fifteen twenty five, seven point eight. It's not ideal, but for the mileage, I'd rather make fifteen over seven. Hi. Hi. Got an order for Caitlin. a little worried there for a second. Great, thank you. Go drop it off and not get ran over because they're not paying attention. <laughs> and it's a Subaru, go figure. <laughs> it must be from Nebraska. I've got no idea. We're trying a little light. I have no idea if it's helping at all. You guys will have to let me know. Photobombed by a child. Yeah, you guys let me know if it helps at all. Come on, complete delivery. Show me the total. Show me the total. There you go. 425 base, $11 tip. Guys, we are done for the day. Um... I know some of you corrected me uh, in the last video that it is not the daylight savings time is over. We're now going to standard time. Well, I don't care. Under no standard should it be getting dark at five o'clock. That that should just that that's not a standard. That's not a standard I'm okay with. Uh, however, about all I got. Um, final numbers for the day: we were online for six hours. Completed nine deliveries for $110.84. Drove about 53 miles, averaging $2.09 a mile. 
again went through about two gallons of fuel so seven dollars and eight cents give or take and uh, for the dollar challenge I'm really trying not to look and now I can't because the screen went black uh, $14 again off of five shopping orders four regular deliveries I uh, didn't see a partridge in a pear tree but you know go figure so if there's any topics anything that you guys would like to see me talk about or start a discussion about feel free to drop them in the comments in fact I encourage it please and thank you in advance on that note um, I'm gonna run in here grab a couple groceries and head home so you guys all have a great night great day when you see this uh, we'll be back on Friday and oh yeah hug somebody you know preferably and watch out for the crazies you guys have a good night